Hello and welcome back to another week in the outfits. It is Monday and it is cold. I am freezing. It looks really sunny outside but definitely winter is on the way. Tomorrow is the official first day of winter actually so I'm going to make the most of this final little bit of spring weather. Um, it's going to be a short week in outfits this week because on Friday we are heading to Welcome Valley so uh, I'm going to be sharing what I wore there in a completely separate video which will be part packing list, part what I wore and part what I wish I'd taken or wish I hadn't taken. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. So let's dive into what I'm wearing because you guys know I can waffle on forever. Um, earrings that I'm wearing today are my Ellery earrings. I have really been enjoying wearing these recently. And let me come a little bit closer actually, there you go, so you can see with the little Aquarius star sign on the uh, dangling charm there. Unfortunately, this particular uh, style is sold out, but I believe they have similar ones. Um, aside from my wedding bands, the only other jewellery that I currently have on are these two rings here from Linyas. I think the one on my index is called the Lillian ring and then I also have the Miriam diamond ring from their Lab Grand diamond collection on my middle finger. Then let's share with you the rest of my outfit. Okay, so the sweater that I'm wearing today is from Miere, which is my children's wear and women's wear brand. Uh, this is our new Frankie knit sweater in the faded gray. Um, I will have a video up that has a little bit more information on the sizing and how to style these sweaters if you are interested. I'm going to link that up in the cards and I'll also leave it linked in the description box below as well. Um, but absolutely love this. It is such a nice thick heavyweight cotton. I would say this is probably about twice as heavy as our original women's knit so it uh, feels a lot more appropriate for the current weather that we have at the moment and has that really nice wide open neckline. I have loosely tucked that into these jeans which are from Anina Bing. I purchased these from the sale and I didn't bother to read their returns policy which said that you couldn't return sale items um, because when they, they arrived I didn't really, I didn't 100% love them and I thought I might return them. I have to admit they have really grown on me. Um, so the first thing I did was go and get them tailored because they were far too long in the leg and I think now that they are cropped uh, I'm, I'm much more appreciative of the length and the reason why I was so drawn to them in the first place was because of the wash because I don't have anything else like it in my wardrobe. They're a size 26 and I think if I was to buy any of the jeans from here I would probably go for the 26. Um, I really like the way that they fit, they're not too tight or restrictive. Um, I think these ones might be 100% cotton too so no give to them. They don't feel stretchy anyway um, but the quality of them is really really nice so yeah definitely would buy jeans from her brand again. The shoes that I have on today are my Dior Slingback Flats in the black. I really like the way that they look with this outfit and as you can probably see there's a bit of a monochromatic vibe or should I say just a vibe that is completely devoid of colour. Um, I do also have a coat that I was wearing earlier. I'm just going to throw it on. It is my boyfriend coat from The Curated. I have been wearing this quite a lot recently as my coat of choice just as I feel like this particular colour kind of goes with absolutely everything um, and I'm really into the fit. Uh, I've definitely found myself becoming a lot more drawn to those incredibly relaxed silhouettes as you've probably noticed also in my outfits uh, and it's not too heavy weight, doesn't feel restrictive or anything like that um, and yeah it's just a really lovely fit, also has a belt as well and then my bag of the day is my Chloe Daryl tote so so that over my shoulder I do find having a kind of more medium size to large bag works really well when you are wearing a bit more of a slouchy outfit or you have large elements in your outfit so that is my look of the day today I will see you guys tomorrow with my next outfit of the week hello so it is Tuesday today is 16 degrees and it's sort of slightly cloudy overcast uh, does feel quite cool uh, very fitting for the first day of winter here in Australia um, I have been running some errands this morning and then this afternoon a little boy is coming with me for his very first fashion show. I haven't attended fashion week in a while um, just because I wasn't really sure 
whether it was something that was adding value to you and if it was something that you were interested in seeing. I'll probably just share some stories right now. Um, it's the only show I'm going to, it's for Exia. Um, I will link their website down below if you wanna go and check them out. But I thought that might be a little bit of fun. I thought that might be a little bit of fun and I am curious to know if in future, for these sort of larger fashion weeks in uh, September and February, whether it would be of interest if I shared kind of the top trends and then ones that I actually think were worth potentially trying to incorporate into your wardrobe, especially if you have more of a classic style. So would love your feedback on that. Um, aside from that, oh, I do have some book chat because it's been a while. Uh, so uh, as you may know, last year for my birthday, Luke bought me an Audible subscription, which has been fantastic because otherwise it's very challenging for me to just sit down with a book. Uh, I very seldom have the time to do it. And he purchased the uh, new Obama book, The Promised Land, and I've started listening to that. I'm, a, I'm four chapters in, I think, but I've had to kind of press pause on that because Luke's been listening to it at the same time, and it kept skipping ahead whenever I went, would log in to uh, have a little listen. So I'm waiting for him to finish so that I can continue. But I do actually have a hardcover book, which feels very grown up. Um, and it is Middle March by George Eliot, which I believe this was a pseudonym. I, I'm pretty sure that George Eliot was actually a female writer. I'm gonna have to do some research on it, but I am looking forward to getting stuck into this. Luke's away in the Blue Mountains for work tonight, so maybe if I get some time I might sit in bed and read this. Um, one of the reasons why I don't often uh, sit and read is because he, he likes to watch TV in the evenings to unwind, and I can't read if there is any noise. I'm sure I'm not alone in this. Um, so it sort of means that my opportunity to read is very, very small. Um, the window is very small. Anyway, let me talk you through my outfit because uh, otherwise I'll stand here and babble forever. So accessories today. I'm actually wearing the same earrings I had on yesterday, those Ellery earrings, but I've removed the charm from them. So they are essentially just little hoops. Tons of brands do earrings like this. So I might link uh, an alternative option down below. Then I do have a couple of necklaces on. I have on my little initial necklace which my girlfriend gave me for my birthday from Sarah and Sebastian. The pearl necklace is the Baroque pearl necklace from Linnea and then I also have on my Linnea Miriam diamond ring. Then because I was feeling cold I pulled out the chunkiest knit that I own which is the C by Chloe wrap cardigan. It's almost like a jacket I feel like. It's so thick and bulky. I really love the fact that it has this sort of uh, white flex through it and in terms of colour it's a very very pale grey toned lilac uh, which I feel works really well with my wardrobe. Um, underneath that as a layering piece I'm wearing a Free People stretch cotton tank. Uh, these are really comfortable and are kind of cropped so good for wearing with anything high-waisted. Unfortunately with this cardigan I do believe it might be sold out. Uh, I bought mine from Setire but if it's available anywhere else I will try and uh, link that down below or at least some alternative really big chunky wrap uh, cardigans because I especially like this um, worn with a slimmer profile jean on my lower half. So the jeans I'm wearing are my white uh, Everlane 90s cheeky straight. I I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but I'm definitely preferring this silhouette to the original Cheeky at the moment. Uh, they're not as tight, they feel a little bit more vintage inspired, uh, and I really love the fact that you can pick an ankle length, which is what I go for because I do have more of a petite length than seam. Then on my feet, I am wearing my Vanelli two-tone pumps, which I love, and I know I keep saying this, but I really, really need to uh, finally get around to purchasing a replacement for these because they are truly on their last legs. You're probably able to see from the cutaways just how worn they are. Um, no coat today because this actually has been keeping me warm enough just because of how chunky it is. But my bag of choice is my Celine Trio. So this is in the dove grey and the goat leather. So that's kind of my full outfit of the day. I will see you guys tomorrow for my next look of the week. So it's Wednesday today and I just checked the forecast. It is currently 20 degrees outside, which is just glorious. The sun is shining. I think this afternoon when a little boy wakes up from his nap, we might go and play out in the backyard with Nigel. Um, for anyone wondering, yes, Nigel is around. However, typically he spends the day outdoors, especially during our boy's nap time because otherwise his claws tend to wake him up when he's just pattering, pit pattering around the house. 
I thought before I shared my outfit, I would actually talk about some new beauty purchases I made yesterday. So you probably know, I mean, I wear eyeliner basically daily. I guess you could say it's kind of part of my daily makeup menu or my style uniform as I feel like my eyes look quite bare when I don't have winged liner on. So I'm kind of always on the hunt for a new eyeliner, at least ones that are really good and also that are affordable. And I have been recommended sort of Korean and Japanese beauty brands quite a bit recently because I also have oily eyelids so that's kind of one of those things that I'm constantly thinking about uh, and a reason why most mascaras tend to smudge on me no matter what and I personally don't really love wearing waterproof mascara because I just find it really challenging to remove and usually half of my lashes tend to go with it. <laughs> So there's a specialty cosmetic store in our local Westfield and I popped in there and grabbed a couple of things. So the first one that I got, um, I'm wearing both of these products right now, is from Heroin Make and it is their Smooth Liquid Eyeliner. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I bought the brown but it also does come in a black and I believe this might be available on Yes Style. Actually, I think both these products are. So I will link them below if you would like to go and check them out. I really like brown liner because I think it's a lot softer than black, especially during the cooler months when my complexion is a little bit fairer because uh, I don't see, my skin doesn't see quite as much sun. I'll just come up close so that you can see. Uh, the tip on this, it's very similar to the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Eyeliner, so I was able to get a really, really sharp point on my winged liner today. Uh, very, very easy to use. I won't say, this is nowhere near as opaque as the Fenty Beauty Eyeliner. Uh, but I do actually find this one a little bit more user friendly and it hasn't budged. Apparently this one is waterproof so we'll see how it goes <laughs> when it comes to removing it tonight. Then the mascara that I got, I was recommended this mascara by the girls who worked in the shop. They said that it wasn't waterproof so that was one of my prerequisites and also that it wouldn't smudge on my brow bone. It is from a brand called Rom and ND and it's called the Han All Fix mascara. I'll show you what the wand looks like actually because I think that's always helpful. So it's quite a skinny wand with a slight curve to it. So I said I wanted a lengthening mascara and do you know I'm gonna say I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I actually like this. I don't think it did a lot. I was gonna come in super close. I'm not really sure that it did a lot in terms of actually lengthening my lashes but it hasn't smudged. So that's a win for me. I only apply one coat of mascara as well uh, just because of the smudging issue so maybe I needed to apply a second coat to add a little bit more length but I'm gonna keep keep using it as uh, it's really nice to know that I don't have to kind of wipe my my brow bone every now and then throughout the day and actually I thought I would just share what lipstick I'm wearing today because this one I've been reaching for a lot. Um, I purchased this recently from Bobbi Brown. It is one of their crushed lip colors in the shade Cabana, which I think is a limited edition shade. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a really pretty corally pink. And I really love these sorts of colors on me. I just think they pop against my skin tone. So yeah, some new beauty bits. Um, now, outfit of the day. Earrings that I'm wearing today, because so you can kind of see the necklace is sort of, I suppose, the focal point in terms of jewelry. So I kept it quite minimal with the earrings. So these ones are from Missima and they're just the Diamante Pave spike earring, I think they're called. Um, we'll link them down below. Uh, I do also still have my little letters necklace from Sarah and Sebastian on, as well as the snake chain from Majuri. I do also have a watch on today. I'm wearing my Linea Petite watch. I did recently do a video kind of uh, sharing a look at all of the things I have from Linea and it's sort of mini reviews on every single item. So I'm gonna link that up in the cards. Then for my outfit, I have to say I'm feeling very Saint Laurent today. Or should I say Hedy Sylvain for Saint Laurent as I kind of feel like with the latest collection that they've released, the direction has shifted and it actually sort of has a bit of a Chanel vibe to it. I'd love to know what you think. Um, the knit that I'm wearing is from Celine and it's actually new Celine, so Hedy did design this. Uh, and I really like it. It's a wool cashmere mix. Uh, it feels really nice and soft super warm, has nice long sleeves which actually look really cute folded up and it's also long through the body. Um, the detail on this that's really nice is that on the neckline here it has these almost concealed buttons so you kind of, uh, it's how you fasten it and it keeps 
the neckline really nice and snug around the collar, uh, which I love. It is navy, but I'm not sure how well that will translate on camera. This was a pre-loved find actually, very, very lucky with this one. Then the blazer that I'm wearing over the top is my Everlane Gold Blazer. I have this in a size 4 and it's just perfect oversized fit. Uh, I feel like this outfit looks a lot more complete when I've got the jacket on. Uh, the jeans that I'm wearing today are from Reformation and I've had these for, I want to say, close to three years now. Uh, they are so, so comfortable. I remember being pretty on the fence about them, but these were the first jeans that I could wear post-pregnancy because of how much stretch they have and how uh, forgiving they are. <laughs> so I had to get them taken up quite considerably as well as get my tailor to taper them in towards the ankle. Uh, but yeah, they're very, very comfortable and I have sort of belted them today with this Anderson's leather belt. I have this in the 70 and I actually wish I'd bought the 75. I originally bought the 65 because they didn't have any other sizes and then I returned it and then bought the next size up because that was definitely too small for me. Uh, but yeah, I think if you're an AU8 and you want to be able to wear it both on your sort of hip and also as a waist belt the 75 would be perfect uh, then on my feet today I am wearing my about Ariane ballerina pumps which I've been absolutely loving as I'm sure you no doubt have guessed considering how often they have featured in my uh, last couple of weekend outfits videos and then bag of the day is my quince camera crossbody bag I really, really love this. I love the texture that it adds and I really am happy with the quality. Then if I bring it up close, you might be able to see that there's just a little bit of an indentation at the top of the bag. And that's because when I use this, typically it's really only about two thirds full. And I don't mind that. I think that's just the nature of leather products. Uh, they are going to show some wear and tear the more that you use them. Uh, but otherwise, otherwise it's held up really well. And I do understand, I'm not sure if I shared this in a previous video, but the leather strap that comes with it now not only has additional um, holes so that you can adjust the length of the strap, but it also matches the leather of the bag. So that's great. But yeah, that is my outfit of the day. I will see you tomorrow with my final outfit in this week's Wigan Outfits video. See you then. It's Thursday today and this will be the final outfit that I'm going to be sharing in this video. I have to say what a difference a day makes. <laughs> Yesterday was glorious sunshine. Today it is so gloomy, so wet, so miserable outside and incredibly cold. Uh, I felt very frosty when I went outside earlier. We had to go into the city uh, so that I could run some errands and also I really needed to pick up a card for my husband's birthday. I thought I would give you a quick little update on those new beauty purchases that I mentioned yesterday. The eyeliner, I'm wearing it again today. It is incredible. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend. And I think the brown is a really nice option. The mascara, I have to say, I do not think I'm going to be using it again. It is definitely a waterproof one. And I just find them so challenging to remove. And this was actually more difficult to remove than any other waterproof mascara I've purchased in the past. None of the cleansers that I have in my vanity were able to do a really effective job at removing it. So uh, it was a little bit frustrating when it came to trying to complete my end of the day skincare routine but uh, always good to try new things and if you have any recommendations let me know down below uh, I don't particularly love tubing mascaras either though they are great and those I know for sure don't smudge um, anyway let me talk you through my outfit so uh, accessories I've gone pretty minimal I just have on some earrings these ones are the Majuri ones that you have seen me share quite a few times with the ridged sides then I have a few rings on from Linya, I have this cross ring which is just twisted around and then uh, I have on my Aurora ring and oh gosh I'm forgetting the name of the other one right now but uh, I absolutely love those two paired together. On my other arm I have on my watch today which is my Rosefield watch. This is the mini boxy and then I also have on this bracelet from Missima. I've just moved you back a little bit so you can get a better look at my knit that I'm wearing today. This one is from Alessandra, which you'll know is a brand that I really love. Um, their mohair cardigan is one of my favorites and definitely something I'm going to be reaching for a lot over these colder months. Uh, this is a cotton cashmere blend and it's grey with navy stripes. They might come off uh, black on camera as it's a really, really dark 
navy. Um, the thing that makes this really interesting and unusual is the fact that on the sides, it actually has these little ruffles and then it comes up. So it has a slit and that means that it's really good for tucking into things if you just want to do a French tuck and then you have that sort of section that floats at the back. I think the ruffles kind of add a, a feminine element to it. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice lightweight knit, uh, really sort of a fine uh, knitted texture and I feel very comfortable in it. I'm wearing it in the small and I do tend to find that a lot of their pieces are a little bit more generously sized. I am wearing a tank underneath as I didn't want to expose any skin today because it is so cold. So the one I have on is just a plain uh, Pima rib uh, cotton one from Everlane. Then on my lower half, I am wearing my Everlane skinny jeans. These are in the authentic stretch with the exposed button fly. I especially love these and they are so comfortable. I wear the ankle length just because I do have a slightly shorter inseam and I do like when my jeans have a little bit of a cropped effect just above the ankle. I have belted my jeans today. Again, I'm wearing that Anderson's leather belt, which I mentioned yesterday. On my feet, I have on my charcoal grey and black suede Vanelli two-tone pumps. And I get DMs about these still. I get questions about them, about where to find them. And I'm so sorry because I don't think these are available anywhere. I have searched because I would love to get a backup. I haven't really seen any other brands do this color combination and they're just a really beautiful shoe. Uh, I think in general these shoes are great if you've been on the fence about them. I've seen that Nordstrom have started stocking them again so I will leave that link down below as well as a couple of other places where you can find them but they're very very comfortable shoes and don't require any break-in. I just wear the regular whip. Um, and then what else? I did have a coat on. Um, my coat of choice today is my Everlane Rewool coat. Uh, this one I wear in the size two, but I think the four also would have been okay. Uh, really, really love this. I love the fact that it has a bit of structure to it. It is incredibly heavy and it is, I would say, probably one of the most classic coats that I own. If I did a video, if I had to start my wardrobe from scratch and I kind of whittled it down to, I think it was around 30 pieces if memory serves me. I have said this before, but I have memory like a sieve and this was the coat that I picked because it is unbelievably classic uh, and one that isn't going to date and the quality is exceptional um, yeah I'm gonna link it below because it's on sale in all colors so I do think the sizes are limited and then the bag that I use is the same as yesterday my little quince crossbody camera bag so that is a look at my full outfit of the day I hope that you enjoyed this week's shorter weekend outfits let me know which look was your favorite um i will be coming at you very soon with that packing video and what i wore while we were away for our trip to walton valley um and yeah that is it from me i hope you enjoy the tail end of your week thanks for spending a little bit of your day with me and i will see you on monday morning with a brand new video see you then bye <laughs>